Ancient Summoning is once again open. I have 20 that I'm going to blow and we'll see how we get on. I'm probably going to do them as single summons. I don't know if there's a difference between 10 pulls and one at a time, but I would feel kind of gutted if I did two 10 pulls. It was over and I got nothing. Anyway, the pity has been added, so it's now a 200 consecutive pity, which does seem quite high considering these are not especially common. However, they are more common than the legendary divine summons. So I can understand why it's not this pity, otherwise it would be quite low, but I feel like 200 is high. It's better than nothing though, so I'll take it. Anyway, let's get going. All I really want is a Chaos Faction Hero game, if you want to give me something nice. Alucas is not the one, but I have 20, so I think there's a, there is a sliver of a chance that I stop getting Burra and Nero. Lunaria would be, oh yo, what the hell? It actually worked straight away. They didn't even look different. Damn. Didn't expect that to happen. We've still got 17 to go. I'm gonna check him out afterwards. Wow. Didn't even look different. You gotta upsell it a bit to me, game. Come on, get me hyped up. I just saw like the standard thing and then bang, there's a five star. No parade or anything. Unless I was not paying attention. Okay, we've got Aeon. Nice though, new hero, and he's from that faction I didn't get just like a, you know, a Cerberus or a Valeria. I think you can get those actually. Got an Isolde. It's not bad rates for me so far. I've got two Epic Lords. I'm missing two Epic Lords still, so hopefully if I do get more, I get one of those guys. And more importantly, I actually got a Chaos Faction Legendary. So yeah, I'm absolutely going to have to look into that fella. I get to be a Lizard Falcon. Okay. I, I, I shouldn't be greedy and expect more, but I would like more gear. <laughs> if you want to chuck some more sauce my way, I, I will gladly take it. Okay, well, it's okay. I, I had pretty good fortune so far. I can't, I can't complain. I'm happy with that. I got Dasomi, was it? The lizard healer. And I got Vladov. Wow, okay. This is, this is a pretty good summoning session. Nice. He is the epic faction lord for the Chaos Dominion. He is a werewolf fella. He is also Nightmare, so he can be used there. Man, I get some new toys to play with this weekend. Ah, oh, that is so awesome. I did not expect this. I was expecting a complaint about having 20 Neros. So, I am pretty chuffed with this. Let's get, let's get one more just so I can make chat upset. I want to see the chat afterwards. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I had a good run. I'm happy with the results here. Awesome. What a what a summoning session. That is good stuff. Let's go look at my new bounty. And uh, we've got I still haven't really tried Cratch because he's he seems kinda naff to me. I've not really done anything with Sadie either. But Dasomi, he is new. He is an interesting design as well. He's got a little sensor he carries around. Oh, he's got a hood. Okay. So let's see. Uh, ultimate targets two people he can increase the target's defense so that would work with um the faction lord who i forget his name khan Garn? i think it's Garn, because he scales on defense so that would be good for him reduce cost in arena i forgot about that right and you can crit and make magic incense last twice as long oh so he dispels debuffs that would actually be really useful in um the void rift so yeah he'd be good in void rift he restores based on their max HP and the caster's attack. So you build him as you build him with crit rate. That's his thing. Equal to 50% crit rate. I'm wondering if that's 50% off his crit rate or just flat 50% crit rate. I'm assuming it's off his crit, crit rate, but I'll I'll mess about with this and we'll see. Um for six seconds and it will dispel three times in that in that period. Seems to heal decently. He shields allies as well every 40 seconds which can drop down to 30 seconds and the shield can be up to a hundred percent of the ally's health that's actually quite good so for 10 seconds every 30 seconds so 30 percent uptime of a hundred percent max hp shield that's actually really good that is really good after entering the field increases attack by five percent for every 25 seconds so stacking three times goes up 10 percent so it'll be a 30 percent attack increase after like a minute basically uh, especially a minute if you max his skills. So yeah, he seems interesting. My thing with healers, right? My my always my hold back with healers is if they don't buff DPS in some way, 
I rarely use them. I would use someone like Vortex because, you know, Vortex has uh, got an incredible healing range. What is this guy's range, actually? I didn't consider that. So he's got a pretty good reach and it's continuous. He does heal over time. So he's putting hots on people. He might actually be pretty good. He's in the Esotericist faction, which I don't have the Lord for. He's in the Chaos faction. I do actually have the Lord. Yo, guys, this is one of the only times I have the Lord for a faction. <laughs> and it's the new faction. Uh, okay, anyway, he has Awakenings. The first Awakening. Releasing a releasing Guardian Fume has a 30% chance to take a cooldown of 10 seconds. Oh, instead of going on its full 1 minute cooldown, it can go down to a 10 second cooldown. So that could be quite powerful. His Awakening 3 increases the healing effect for all allies. Sure. And his Awakening 5 increases the healing multiplier. Applied during the effect of vitality in sense by 50%. So I think the healing is increased by 50% while he's almost up. I think that's what that means. Anyway, I'm definitely going to build him. I'm going to give him a go, see what he's like. I think he might actually be pretty good. Being able to cleanse debuffs is incredibly useful in the new Void Rift. So yeah, the magic incense that he applies, uh, dispelling debuffs, is super good. He has the ability to passively apply fairly big shields. So I think that's pretty good as well. This passive seems really dull. I wish it was something more interesting. Healing targets up to plus two is pretty good. And this is reducing his ult cost down to 600, which is nothing really. So yeah, he's actually quite good. And the duration would go up to 18 seconds. Yeah, now nah, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. An increase in defense, although it's only 30%, I think is not too bad. It's actually quite nice to get some extra defense because people don't build it too often. We don't know the calculation, but I think he'll be pretty good. Anyway, let's move on and let's have a look at this other gentleman I got. Vladov, I believe. And let's just push him up in my awakenings. Just so we can see him at the top a bit easier. I don't I don't farm XP anymore, so I don't really have a lot. And we'll just boost him up and then we'll take a look at exactly what he does. Because I haven't really looked at these guys too much. Okay, so that's close enough. Now he stands out a bit. So details. Single target attacker. He's multi-strike based. He could apply bleed. 2.6 attack interval to block fairly standard stuff 12 rage regen auto all looks pretty normal to me so he has a talent in increases attack speed by 27 for eight seconds each time after taking damage so whenever he's injured he gains attack speed stacking up to five times actually a lot of attack speed that would be if he was taking persistent damage his lord skill increases allies basic attributes by 10 percent and they gain damage bonus based on the percentage of HP loss up to 40%. So his basic attack is a single target hit that hits twice. So one enemy gets hit twice. His passive gives him a 20 up to 25% chance to trigger an AoE attack up to five targets for 150% AoE damage and it applies bleeds on the target. The more he attacks, the more he applies bleed because it procs laceration, AoEs everyone and applies bleed. So he has a way of applying bleed on mass, which is actually really good. And he has savagery. When activated, transforms 12% of max HP into attack. Meanwhile, lose HP by 10% of current HP per second. When killing a target, recovers 7% of HP. Last 15 seconds. So 12% of max HP into attack. So you kind of want attack speed and HP on this guy. But you want to pick up HP as a subs, right? Because you prefer 66% attack than 66% HP as a main stat but still it's quite interesting okay yeah he seems quite fascinating let's try to skill him up oh no he's, he's not a legendary right this is actually one of the like only epics released in the last year pretty much so yeah this is cool it's nice to actually just be able to build a character up and it not be insane and I'll be able to awaken him as well wow it's been a long time since I can do something like this so I'll have a look at his awakenings to see how good his awakenings are, because I reckon they will probably help quite a bit as well. So he loses 10% of current HP per second, lasting 20 seconds. So he would go down quite low. He would he would really drop really low on HP. It's not going to kill him because it's current HP, but still. All right, awakenings. Let's see what we got. Basic attacks, but basic attacks have a chance to apply bleed. That's obviously pretty good. Ah, oh, they removed the soul stones from the awakening shop, so it's actually a lot harder to get them now, which is a pain. And what else we got? Crit rate 5% will help building him. Dropping below 20% HP resource HP 10% per second for 5 seconds. So 50% HP restore when he drops below 20%. It's pretty good. Only once per time on combat, but that's actually quite nice still. More attack speed. And when he reaches 5 stacks, so when he takes damage up to 5 instances within like the 8 second threshold, I think it was something like that, he gains 15% damage. 
all seems pretty good to me. Uh, you can definitely imagine using him in the continuous damage arena. He's also a nightmare faction, so it'd be quite easy to use him in a lot of teams. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite keen on uh, giving Vladov a go. He seems like quite an interesting hero. But not bad for the summoning session, right? I got Dasomi, I got Vladov, two new toys to play around with. I'll definitely build them up this weekend and let you guys know what I think. So good luck with your summons this weekend. I hope you guys get fortunate. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you in another video soon where we go over what these characters are capable of. So have a great one. Take care. See you soon and bye bye.